In young adults, a fall on an outstretched hand or certain twisting activities to the wrist, particularly in sports people, can cause ligamentous injuries to the wrist. There are a number of ligaments in the wrist, however, the ligaments which are of most relevance are the scapholunate ligament, which is a ligament on the back of the wrist that holds together the scaphoid and the lunate. Another ligament which is extremely important, which is a, a, an anatomical structure based on ligaments with a small meniscus, is what's called the TFCC, the Triangular Fibrocartilage Complex. And this is a complex structure which holds together the radius and the ulna and this is responsible in part to the stable rotation of the forearm. Twisting injuries can disrupt this structure called the TFCC on the ulnar side of the wrist. Both of these injuries, ligament injuries to the wrist, the main injuries being the scaphalunate ligament injury, the triangular fibrillar cartilage co complex injuries are managed by firstly making the diagnosis in, taking a history from the patient, examining the patient, and these ligaments are not seen on plain x-rays, and one has to get an MRI scan to, uh, to image these ligaments. If there is significant suspicion that there is a disruption to the ligament, whether partial or, or total, these um, ligament injuries, if they're mild, can be managed with conservative treatment, splintage, a hand therapy, physiotherapy. If they are significant ligament injuries, then they do require what's called an arthroscopic evaluation of the wrist, keyhole surgery of the wrist, similar to keyhole surgery of the knee, a small arthroscope, scars as small as a couple of millimetres, small cuts on the back of the wrist. One can insert a very small camera into the wrist and image and see these ligaments. These ligaments can be tightened up and repaired using a minimally invasive modern techniques to repair these ligaments or to coagulate the ligaments, to tighten these ligaments, and these can cause a great deal of um, symptomatic relief. If there's a total disruption, sometimes one cannot undertake a, a, a total repair or reconstruction of these ligaments using arthroscopic techniques. Occasionally, one needs to undertake an open technique and even use a piece of tendon to reconstruct these ligaments. This is a complex um, um, subject. However, there are a number of new methods of treating these conditions and a great deal of these um, conditions can be treated with keyhole surgery um, and these can re re return um, high-level sports um, persons back to full activity with um, minimal um, time out and um, minimal um, morbidity.